This video is about some of the new technologies that we're expecting to come out in 2019. The biggest thing to start out with is, of course, going to be the 5G cell phones. Um, it's probably going to be the third quarter before they get here. And, <clears throat> and so, um, and also Apple probably this year will release a 5G phone. Um, and there'll be a lot of other companies that will start to release them. Um, it'll probably be slow for a good bit of the year. Um, and then even with, when they do come out, um, it may be another year or two before a lot of cities are able to even uh, get a 5G connection. Um, so the major cities may get it this year, but that'll be about that. Also, real big in technology is uh, smartwatches. Um, this, Apple has really been pushing uh, the smartwatch technology along, and um, but... The Apple still has a major problem in that um, their smartwatches only have like an 18-hour battery life. And so that's really um, one big thing, the problem that they have. They may have other problems, but that, that, that's one obstacle in their way. Um, and then, of course, Samsung is, is also coming along also, and they um, also make phones that you can get voice on also. Uh, they work best, of course, with the Samsung um, well, uh, smartphones just like Apple works best with the iPhones. Uh, Fitbit on the other hand is uh, approaching just about everybody. Um, they give the best support uh, for Android users um, but um, they are producing a lot of apps for women and they um, have a lot of pretty colors and so um, they've been able to um, push up a big market because of their design. Uh, Garmin has um, pushed real hard on the on the fitness level. Um, they have integration with Strava. Uh, in fact, a lot of them have integration with Strava. Um, Samsung is the weakest. Uh, Fitbit and Apple both also have Strava support. Uh, Strava is a network of athletes, and it allows um, people to uh, upload their data and stuff like that. Um, with the Fitbits. They don't have that many of their watches that have GPSs. Some of them have connective GPS, uh, if you have your cell phone on you. Um, and, um, of course, Garmin is, is stronger in the GPS market, of course. Um, and so, um, outside of the smartwatches, um, also, um, th there are networks like AT&T Fiber and Google Fiber. Um, those are other big things that are improvements uh, in technology. They still, just like the smartwatches, still have their problems with outdated software and um, a lot of heavy uh, limitations. Um, they're not really compatible across all various Linux op operating systems and, um, and other things, and so there, there are still a lot of restrictions on them. Um, but anyway, um, of course, cars and planes are, are things that could be coming out, too. Um, but um, there's, there's a big push for electrical cars. Um, and so uh, we'll have to just see what happens. Um, but anyway, we're just getting started today. And this is the beginning of 2019. And so um, we were just making this quick video um, just to get started. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And um, hopefully we'll have some little bit... Uh, um, some interesting videos to come up. Thanks a lot.